back. My next guest has appeared in such films as Pearl Harbor and The Ring, and now she's a star of the ABC sitcom Less Than Perfect. Please welcome Sarah Rue. For being here now, you are uh, you are back to work now, right? I am. You got the if you're working in a sitcom like shows like like mine, we go all the time. Oh really? Yeah, we get a week off here and there to no, give the American get, people a break. We're sort of on the schedule of like a high school. We get right. a big summer break. You get a summer. So what did you yes. do with your summer break? I had a very relaxing summer hiatus. Um, first, I did a movie in Toronto during the SARS outbreak. Nice, always good. <laughs> yeah, Don't yeah. Worry. It's okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Um, and then let's see. And then I went to the Middle East. Right. Where'd you go in the Middle East? I went to Israel. See friends, family, tour the Gaza Strip, that sort of thing. Right, right. Just enjoy the calm. The beautiful country. <laughs> the beautiful countryside of Israel. Yes. I, I understand that you took a stripper size class recently. What is stripper size? Um, it's it's learning to be a stripper and getting a workout at the same time. And, and it's like an aerobic workout where <laughs> that involves yeah. <laughs> Was, that's great. That's One guy amazing. is behind this yeah, idea. Like, yeah. um, it's actually, and it's, even now he's reconsidering. Yeah, he's like, what? Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> so it, it's basically just rather than doing jumping jacks or you're, running you're in place. You're around a pole and learning the moves and climbing upside down and, you know, practicing your peel, which is my favorite part of the strip class, at the end of the class, which is stripping. So you'd practice like pantomime taking, taking your shirt off and swinging it and throwing it around the room. Except it's covered in sweat at that point, probably. Yeah, but it's sexy sweat. It's stripper sweat. There's no such thing as sexy sweat, actually. You don't think? No, I really don't think so. What about sweat like is in just... flash dance? Remember, that was sexy sweat. What? No, I don't think so. I... She was like sweating. Yeah, that was and... water that came down from the ceiling. No, that in wasn't the beginning sweat. when she's dancing and gyrating and there's like sweat in her hair and it's hot. No, sweat is just sweat. I don't think anybody... I don't... I sweat is just disgusting. Okay. And, and no we one wants any part of that. Yeah, on yeah. The top yeah. Of when the you sweat. see it on film, maybe it's okay. But in real life, when you get a whole bucket of it in your face, yeah, that's, you're not happy about that's it. That's not cool. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, this stripper size class is actually really neat. And I took it with a co-star of mine from the show, Sherry Shepard, who is the beautiful black woman who plays my best friend. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the class, you practice your peel. And you're pantomiming the peel. And I look around, I've practiced my peel, and I'm feeling very sexy, still fully clothed. And I look around the class, and everyone's fully clothed and feeling really sexy, except for Sherry Shepard, who is completely naked. <laughs> she got naked? She thought she, that it was real? She they missed the pantomime aspect of the peel. So she actually peeled, and she was sitting there, and she was like, yeah. It was amazing. Where do I sign up for this class? I'm just curious. <laughs> and so, uh, so it, it would be actually a way that you could, you could really exercise like that and then get naked at the end. Yeah, which I did, because then I was jealous that she was naked and she felt all free and sexy, so I tried it, but I just felt awkward and insecure. I've never heard of that, a woman being jealous of another woman's nudity and <laughs> feeling the need to, like, she's because naked, was, I'll be naked. It sounds it like a Bud so Light commercial, you know? <laughs> You're naked. I can be naked too. Well, then I can be naked. <laughs> I'll, I'll nudify you. It's a very strange concept. I don't know. It works for me. Are, uh, do men take this class as well? No, no men allowed. No right. men allowed. Right. Sorry. I, uh, <laughs> that's all right. I would <laughs> go home and I would show my husband sort of like the moves that I learned. But I mean, because male stripping is a very different thing. It feels like male stripping. There are more like. Props involved? Am I wrong? Like male you have to be a construction is, worker, or you have to yeah, be a. Yeah, you know the only I hired a male stripper once for my friend's 21st birthday, and the only one we could get at last minute notice was the Jean Claude Van Damme lookalike stripper. It might have been Jean Claude Van Damme the way things are going. <laughs> you know other people. Have I said haven't that seen to him me. in a while. <laughs> but you're a Jean Claude Van Damme lookalike. No, I am Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> And now I'll become naked. Yeah, uh, it was, it was, it, that, male stripping is not attractive. Like, it's sort of scary. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's right. a little frightening. I disagree. I find it very attractive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I've never seen, I mean, yeah, I'm a guy, but I right. don't, it, it always just seems like. You don't come on, like, secretly at home in front of the mirror, like, just a little shake. <laughs> Would it secretly, I do it in the monologue every uh, night. I'm out there every night, like, waving my ass around. There's no secretly at night. It's a matter of time before I get to nudity. <laughs> All the men applauding. Uh, That's exactly what you want. Well, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how. I swear to God, I'm gonna learn well, how. Well, I'll come back and maybe give you a lesson on the pole or something. What? There's a pole? <laughs> Did you guys not don't listen? use? Guys, I know girls use the pole, but guys don't use the pole. It's no, you could use the pole. I think it'd be. How? Wouldn't you love to see Conan on the pole? <laughs> but I've never seen a guy use the pole. I, I what would a guy do would be, on the pole? You could swing. I don't know. <laughs> la, 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 la. No. 
Maybe, well, no, you could, like, you, you'd show your arm muscles by grabbing on and spinning around and kicking your leg out. It'd be hot. That just, that sounds like Irish dancing, that. <laughs> <laughs> Less than perfect. That's just the worst stripping I've ever heard of, is me <laughs> swinging around on a pole, I'm wearing totally, a tie. I, I would totally, and nothing else. Yeah, just the tie, that'd yeah. be great. No, that's not good. Okay. Uh, and what a good transition, uh, my nudity into Less Than Perfect <laughs> airs Tuesday nights at 9.30 on uh, ABC. Thanks a lot for being here, Thank Sarah. Thank you so much for having me. Sarah Rue, everybody. We'll be right back. Jim Gaffigan's here. Stick around. Everybody, we are back. 